Hello, in this session, we will create a zoom in and out functionality using a simple post process material and camera features. First, let's create a material. To make it a post process material, set the blend mode to post process. Next, create a scene texture node for setting the effect in the post process and set it as the post process input zero. Then, set up a component mask node, configure the component mask R, G, B channels, and connect it to the emissive color so that you can see the normal scene environment. Next, while holding down the L key, click to create a lurk node. Then, create a radial gradient exponential node to generate a circular gradient. Create a parameter node and connect it to the radius pin so that you can adjust the radius of the circular gradient later. You can create a parameter node by holding down the S key and clicking. To prevent color distortion, use a saturate node to clamp the value between 0 and 1, and then connect it to the alpha pin of the lurk node. Connecting the scene texture node to the lurk node will result in a darkened surrounding in a circular shape, with the center remaining the normal scene. Next, make three copies of the component mask node connected to the scene texture node. Set each of the copied component mask nodes to use only one channel, either the red channel or any other channel. Then, create a screen position node to set the screen space position. Next, create three add nodes. Configure the values being added in the add nodes as shown in the video. To add dynamic elements to the screen, connect the screen position node to the add nodes after setting the values and repeat the process of connecting the add nodes to the scene texture node three times, as shown in the video. Create a make float three node and connect the component mask nodes to it to create a single screen. Next, create two multiply nodes. Connect the nodes as shown in the video. Finally, connect the resulting multiply node to the lurk node. This will make the screen appear blurred and hazy in the surrounding area. Next, find and click on the character blueprint to open the window. Create an event begin play node to execute events during game execution. To allow changing the material's parameters during the game, create a create dynamic material instance node, set it to the previously created material, and create a variable from it. In the Components tab, drag and drop the camera component to create a Set Post Process Settings node and load the Post Process Settings. Then, connect the Make Post Process Settings node to set the Post Process material. Drag the Dynamic Material variable and create a Make Weight Blendable node to apply the material to the post process. Create an array as shown in the video to apply the material to the post process settings to ensure that the screen does not initially show a blurred effect. Use the set scalar parameter value node to set the initial value of the material's radius parameter. Next, create a keyboard event node to receive key inputs and set the desired keys for the functionality. To synchronize the post-process effect with the camera zoom feature, create two sequence nodes and connect them to the keyboard event node. Create a timeline and set the tracks as shown in the video to achieve a smooth post-process effect and camera zoom functionality.
Once the track creation is complete, connect the timeline to the sequence nodes. Next, drag and drop the camera component and create a set field of view node. Connect it to the first timeline to create the zoom in and out functionality. Then, drag the dynamic material variable and connect it to the set scalar parameter value node, and configure the timeline to apply the zoom effect and the post-process effect simultaneously. Now run the game and press the assigned keys in the blueprint to test if the functionality works.